Yum yum sauce tonight. <laughs> yum. 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 That's all we got to say about that. <laughs> so we're eating a healthy dinner tonight. We're gonna be eating a uh, Japanese style. What do you call it? Tapanyaki. Tapanyaki. And so we got here some squash and some. Uh, I don't remember what everything is. Mushrooms. Zucchini. Portobello Zucchini. mushrooms. Broccoli. Squash and some onion. Onion. Uh, I don't like onions and mushrooms, but I'll eat all the other stuff on there. And then we're gonna cook it on this fancy smancy little thing here. And don't even ask me how it works because I don't know. But we'll show it to ya. Ooh, hear that sizzle? Look at that. We got stuff cooking. Mm. Ooh, look at that. Oh, it browns up so fast. Cool. Ew, not those. Not those. Ew, nasty. Woo! Broccoli on there. Come on, it attacked me. The oil is- The ah! <laughs> <laughs> oil is attacking me. <laughs> As you can see, I'm a little scared of oil attacking me. Sorry for the yelling. Ooh, what a nice mixture there. So professional looking. So we went out for lunch. Where'd we go? Um, Kampai. 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 Sushi. Yeah, I know we just ate sushi, but this time we're going out to get it so we can get some different kinds than what we can make at home. Yep, we're pretty limited on what we can make, but we can eat whatever we want at the restaurant. As long as it's on the menu. True. Yeah. <laughs> It's a French dish, but it's very popular in Japan. It's made of potato. It's almost like a French fry, like mashed potatoes all squashed together, and then they deep fry it with some panko. Oh, it's, it's very good. Very tasty, and the sauce that they gave us is really spicy. So it's called chicken kalaage. Chicken kalaage. Delicious. It's really, really good. Basically, just a deep fried chicken in a batter. With a really good sauce that it goes in. And our sushi came. 
-hmm. California rolls. And that shrimp something or other. And then I also got California roll and spicy tuna. Mm -hmm. And I don't touch this stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How much food is left? We ate all of it. <laughs> <laughs> we ate it all, it was so delicious. It's yum, yum, yummy. It's time to go to the mall. We're at the mall. We're mauling, mall rats. So we just went to Radio Shack because our local Radio Shack was closing down. Everything was 90, 95% off, but there was like nothing in there for us. Yeah, like everyone was buying their shelves and everything was crazy. The shelves were tempting to buy, but we didn't need those. So now we're at Sears. We're gonna go check out dryers because our dryer uses up a lot of energy. Yeah, I discovered that when our dryer was running and our electric meter thing was going and it goes up every time that we use the dryer. We wanted to not go up. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Since we're here, we might as well look at it. Yep. Okay, so we're off to another trip this evening. We're going to a night in the military fundraiser that our friends from church, I guess, are doing. And so we're gonna go to this dinner fundraiser thingy bobber. So it should be fun. And it's basically a dinner Thing, and we're gonna be with a whole bunch of people and it's at the old church that we went to before and we're gonna have some fun so off we go driving so our friends they're moving and there are gonna be missionaries in a different state and so the fundraiser is going to help them pay for their trip to go down there and be missionaries so that's really what it's all about and I'm not sure where the military part comes in. I know that he used to be in the military. And so I don't know if he's just kind of trying to do something that he knows to show other people. Or if there's military involved in his missionary thing that he's doing. But we're going to go support him. So we're back home. We didn't do any talking at the church. But Carolyn wanted to talk to you about it. Me? So... We went and we had dinner and it was quite interesting because we um, had this bag and it had a bunch of stuff in it and so we weren't allowed to open it until we were told to open it. As it says on there. As it says on there. And so there were tables and each table had a different um, country and like military station, right? Yeah, base. Base, military base. I don't know all those words. Anyway, so we got these little boxes and then it had these um, different names on it. So this one, I can't even pronounce, so I'm not even gonna try and pronounce it, but it's in Germany. And so that's the table that I ended up sitting at. And everyone at the table ended up having these things underneath their chair, and they had to end up going to these different tables. So it ended up being me and this random guy at the table, and it was slightly awkward, but he was interesting to talk to, so it turned out all right. Yeah. Anyway, so then in the box, or in the in the bag here, they had all this other stuff that was in there. A little bracelet, and then a picture of the people that are, that were doing this event. There's some info, and if you guys want to know something, stuff about what they're doing, it's Cadence International, and they have hospitality houses, or whatever yeah. it's called, on military bases. So if you're curious, let me know and we'll see if we can get you some information because I think they're happy to share that information. Yep, they'd like to share that information. They want it to go out to everybody so that they know about it. So we ate dinner and we had we had chicken and we had salad and some bread and some potato salad. Mm -hmm. I think that was. Yeah. And then they had nummy, nummy, nummy desserts and um, they were li little um, cupcakes. cupcakes. Cupcakes from a sweet spot which is a really, really good um, cupcake place. Oh, so delicious. Yeah. 
Anyway, so we got to listen about all the stuff that they were talking about and what they wanted, um, what they were planning to do and where they're going and all that sort of stuff. So it was quite interesting. It was fun. Yep! Yeah! <laughs> so here we are in the garage. Yeah. And that's as blurry as blurry can be. Oh, that's very blurry. And it's just getting blurrier. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so here we are in the garage. Take two. I just said that a second ago, and it was so blurry that I, I decided to redo yeah. that. Redo. Redo. Yep. Redo do. What are we doing? We're going to a grocery store. Go get some dinner. Actually, we have our stuff for dinner for tonight, but we're getting dinners for the next couple of nights. And we're going to go get some stuff for Carolyn to, is it for a craft? Um, or is it for a gift? It's for a gift for my coworker that's leaving me. Stupid leaving coworker. No, it's on the back. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> right, is it, are you going to make a craft out of it? Well, I did make a craft out of it, and oh. so now I'm finishing it off as a present. Okay, well there we go. Yeah. I thought that was somewhere in my head. Yeah, it, it was not quite what he was thinking, but yeah. He's got it. We got it! We're going to the store. Yep. And that's Chuck telling us the story about his day. All by himself. signed ourselves up for a wedding course or a marriage course. Not marriage a wedding course. course, yeah. Um, we're so wedded already. Because <laughs> we're having a horrible marriage and we're going to get divorced if we don't go. What? <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> Actually, I, just, I wanted to say that joke because people think that that's what those things are all about. And it's actually, you could be having the most amazing marriage ever, and this course could still help you improve your marriage. So, that's why we're going, it's like seven weeks, we go every Friday night, they give us food, and we learn how to strengthen our marriage even better. Yeesh. So, this is the sixth week, so we have one week left, and so we go down to a, um, it's a coffee shop, and they have a room upstairs, and so they have the tables, and have water and coffee and then they have a small meal with it and then we watch this video of these two people and some other people that talk in it too that have um, crazy British accents and we like to listen to the the way they talk because they say things differently so it's actually really fun very fun 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 I recommend it to anyone we go at our at a church. This is a church-related thing for us, and the mountain looks really pretty with the way the sunlight's reflecting on it. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh! There we go. Yep, 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 yep. There's the sun or the mountain. It's kind of blurry, but that's Mount yep. Shasta. We might get a better footage of it on the freeway. Any hoozle? So, yeah, ours is at a church thing. It's like a church function. Uh, it's directly a church function, but it's church but, people that go to our church that are putting it on, and it's Christian based. But first of all, you don't have to be Christian to go to this one. And second of all, you can find some out there that are not Christian based if you're not a Christian. So anyone that is married or thinking of getting married or living together and not married or whatever, you should go to one of these kind of things and just check it out. Don't be scared. Just do it. Obviously, we're the first ones here. Yeah. There's two rooms, so this is like half of it. Yep. So I got music playing, and then we got the water, and the coffee cups, and spoons and forks, and we never know what we're gonna be eating. 
Yep, it's a surprise. And the coffee is always good because this is actually a coffee house. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's their coffee. And they're all like organic and stuff or something, so it's like good coffee. Yep, that's right.